Welcome back to AWS Made Easy. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about AWS CLI. A CLI is basically a command line interface using which you can interact with AWS services. Okay, so you can interact with AWS services in a multiple ways. So one thing is you can uh, log into your console and uh, directly perform your actions using the console uh, buttons. Okay, so this is a manual way of interacting with AWS uh, services. You can also interact with AWS using uh, SDKs uh, like Boto3, which is basically uh, a Python SDK for AWS. So CLI is also another way to interact with your AWS services. Uh, so using CLI, you can uh, create or modify or destroy your resources using a bunch of commands. Okay, so CLI is also very useful for uh, automating your AWS tasks uh, like, I mean, if you are deploying an application and uh, you want to create certain resources uh, for that application, you don't want to manually perform those actions in the console, right? So what you do is you can uh, describe those actions using CLI commands in a particular script and you can execute the script and uh, automate the entire uh, you know, uh, process of uh, performing those actions. Okay, so uh, CLI is a very important uh, concept in AWS. So um, in this tutorial, uh, let's learn uh, the basics of uh, CLI, how to install and configure it, and how to uh, write uh, CLI commands and what is the structure of CLI commands. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So as a first step, what we will do is we will install uh, CLI in our uh, local machine and then uh, we'll configure it and run commands from our local, okay? So to do that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to install. So you can just uh, search for uh, AWS CLI installation in Google and you can come to this page. So if you are on Mac OS, follow the instructions here. And since I'm on Windows, I'm going to follow these instructions and install. So it's very simple. Uh, I'm going to do it for Windows and the process is going to be very similar for Mac as well. So make sure you uh, install it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this installer over here and uh, click on this and click on next and click on accept next next and inst it's going to take uh, i guess a couple of minutes to finish the installation so let's wait for that okay it says it's done click on finish okay so once you have done that to verify uh, if the installation is done correctly click on this command prompt just open your command prompt and run this command aws hyphen hyphen version so it should show you the version which it is running so this means that uh, the cli is installed correctly so if that is uh, not working just like i mean make sure you close the command prompt and restart it uh, just to make sure it reflects and uh, it should be fine okay so we have now installed the aws cli in our machine so the next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, like co configure the access so when i run a command from my uh, machine so it should be able to authenticate into my aws account and perform those actions and to perform those actions it should have those necessary permissions so uh, let's do that uh, access part so to do that we will uh, go to IAM service and in IAM click on users and here click on create user and let's call this user as CLI user and we don't need to give this user a management console access because we are going to use it only for CLI so I will leave this uh, box as it is and uh, click on attach policies directly and I'm going to give administrator access to this user uh, so that this user has all the permissions which are required like i mean to create or destroy or modify the resources in aws so you can also fine tune the access to your requirements if you don't want to give the administrator access so here just for convenience i am giving uh, administrator access um, so let's click on next and click on create user okay um it says did you not found it's refresh here so what is the issue okay um i think it was a temporary issue so i just refresh the page and it disappeared so so this is a user that we have created so then after you have created the user go to your command prompt and type in this command aws configure okay and hit enter it will ask you for aws access key id so that is basically if you go to the security credentials here and click on create access key and the use case for us is command line interface. Okay, 
click on next okay you just need to click on this and you just go somewhere here and click on this so basically it will generate an access key and secret access key so i'm going to copy this access key and paste it here and then secret access key so i'm going to copy this and paste it here okay so this is basically the default region name so like i mean whenever you execute a command and you don't uh, specify a region parameter it will automatically execute that command in this default region so if you don't specify a default region here you will have to specify a region parameter in all your commands that you will execute uh, from aws cli so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give my default region as us east one and uh, default output is none okay that's fine so now uh, we have configured the access as well so now uh, this like i mean uh, so now whenever we execute command uh, it will authenticate using this uh, user and it will run those uh, commands okay so uh, i hope you have completed this step of downloading the cli and setting up the access so if you don't want to go through this process and uh, like i mean of installing and uh, configuring the access in your local machine there is another way you can uh, using which you can execute the commands uh, so if you log into your console you can find this icon of cloud shell here if you click on that cloud shell it will generate uh, like i mean a cloud shell uh, here using which you can execute your commands as well okay so you can execute your commands here as well so, so using uh, like i mean this is a very simple and quick way to start uh, running your commands however i am going to run all my commands from my local itself okay so that was just another way uh, i just wanted to show you to run the commands okay so uh, so with this setup done let's start executing the commands and uh, practice some uh, aws cli commands okay so uh, in the documentation if you see there is uh, like a command reference here uh, and a user guide so if you go to the user guide it has all the documentation like i mean how to use uh, the cli and everything so here if you see a command structure so there is a command structure for all the aws cli the command uh, cli commands the structure is going to be the same so you will have to type in aws and then the command and sub command and then the parameters which you pass to that uh, command okay so this command is basically the name of service on which you are executing your uh, uh, you know command and this sub command is basically the action which you are executing like create or destroy or modify so if you see the examples here there is aws s3 ls so s3 is a service on which you are executing the command and ls is actually the command which you are executing or the action which you are executing so ls stands for listing so when you run that it actually lists the buckets which are there in your account uh, okay so this is so like i mean the aws cli commands are structured so what we will do is we will try to create an aws ec2 instance uh, as a first command okay so to do that let's go to this uh, command reference and uh, these are all the services for which commands are available let's find aws uh, e, sorry ec2 here so let me click on ec2 okay and here it will show all the commands that are available for ec2 services like you can see copy image or like i mean there are a lot of things create image create key pair and all those things so what we need to do is we need to find a command uh, to create an ec2 instance basically so the command for that is uh, run instances so let's try to find that okay so here it is run instances so if you go to that command it will show like i mean what are the parameters that you need to pass to that command okay so not all the parameters are uh, compulsory you can like i mean there are only a lot of our lot of these parameters are optional so we will only pass the mandatory parameters so what we will do is let me go to my account and show you so i don't have any instances running here so let's create an instance using cli so we will need a couple of parameters here so image id is a mandatory thing so image id is basically the ami amazon machine image uh, using which you want to create your instance so to get that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on launch instance here i'm going to do give some random name and i'm going to select this so if i select this this is the emi for this image okay um i'm just going to copy this one 
okay and then the next thing that we need to do is instance type t2 uh, so micro so we'll just create a t2 micro so that it is free tier eligible so make sure you select an emi which is free tier eligible uh, if you don't want to pay uh, i mean don't want to end up paying money to aws okay so let's go here and type in that command so the command structure like we discussed is aws and then ec2 and then the sub command is going to be run instances okay so this is come then we will pass in the parameters so uh the parameters are image id so i'm going to type in image id and uh, i'm going to paste the emi that i copied and then i'm going to pa uh, select instance type which is t2 dot micro okay so all other uh, parameters are uh, like optional so you can let's hit enter and see what happens okay so it gave us this response so if you don't specify like uh, things like uh, private so vpc id and subnet id and everything it will uh, select the default vpc id and subnet id okay so let's go to our account and see if it is actually launched that instance so if you see here it has uh, launch that instance and it is in initializing state okay so this is how we uh, create an ec2 instance using uh, aws cli of course you can pass other parameters also like key name you if you have a key pair you can pass that key name and uh, use that to log in into your ec2 instance you can also pass things like uh, vpc id and subnet id and all that all those things i just wanted to show you a simple example of uh, using a cli command to create ec2 instance so that is why i did not use all those okay so now that we have created this instance uh, let's try to destroy this instance or create i mean delete this instance so to do that let's find a aws command for that so here uh, like we have a couple of uh, commands called stop instance or terminate instance so this is going to stop the instance and it's going to terminate it so let's actually terminate that instance instead of stopping uh, stopping it so what i mean the, only these are the like mandatory parameters like uh, the instance ids okay so let's try to get the instance id of that so this is the instance id and let's try to uh, stop terminate this instance you can also like i mean uh, modify this instance uh, using the commands which are there here like i mean you can modify the volume you can modify the vpc endpoint and a lot of other stuff regarding your ec2 instance uh, okay so yep you can refer to this documentation and find an appropriate command for your uh, requirement and then see what are the parameters that are required to pass uh, to that command and then you can use it okay so let's actually uh, try to terminate this instance that we just created okay so we are going to say aws is it to aws ec2 terminate instances and then the parameter we are going to pass instance ids okay the value of that is this instance id and we'll paste this here and click enter okay so we got a response and, uh, let's refresh this one so it says shutting down and uh, this instance will be stopped in some time okay so uh, yeah that was basically uh, a few commands uh, that i wanted to demonstrate for ec2 services now similarly we can execute any number of commands for like i mean any services so let's uh, do some more practice and uh, execute some uh, like commands on uh, s3 service okay so let's find uh, s3 this list yep okay so this is s3 and uh, these are all the available commands copy list move and uh, pre-sign and all those things so let's do one thing first let's try to list the buckets which are there in our aws account refresh this page okay so there are four buckets so let's see if it uh, let's 
So if you remember the command structure, it's going to be AWS and then the service name and then the command. Okay, AWS S3 LS. So it listed the four buckets which are there in my account. Okay, and uh, let's do one thing. So let's try to create a bucket uh, using CLI. So let's see what is the structure for creating a S3 bucket. I think it's going to be MB, which is make bucket. Okay. So this is the command for creating a bucket. So let's do this AWS S3 MB, and then let's give the bucket name. Uh, let's call it uh, AWS made easy CLI. Bucket. I'm just giving a long name so that uh, that name is not already taken. And let's click enter. Okay, so it says make bucket on this one. So let's go to S3 and see if that bucket is created. Yep, I see five buckets now. So yep, this bucket is created. So next thing, what we'll try to do is we will try to upload a file um, to this bucket from our local. Okay, so I have a logo file here. So I'm going to try and upload this file. So let me actually change directory to that one. Okay, so, yep. So let's try and find a command to uh, upload a file to uh, AWS S3 bucket. So CP should be fine for us because uh, it's a copy. So it says that its description is copy a local file or S3 object to another location locally or in S3. Okay, so let's try and find an example. Uh, for this command, so it says AWS S3 and then the name of your file and the path to which you want to upload it. Okay, so let's try and do that AWS S3 CP and uh, the name of my file is my logo. And uh, where do I want to upload it? I want to upload it to this bucket that we just created. Okay, and you can also specify like, uh, I mean the different name for it as well. So if you don't specify it, will just automatically copy the same name. So let's hit enter. Okay, it says my logo doesn't, so I, think, I guess I have to give the extension of that file. Let me do this. Okay, let's hit enter. Okay, and it says upload is successful. So let's go to this bucket and refresh this. Uh, okay, so it says, I mean, now if you see this logo is uploaded. Okay. So there are also like, I mean, uh, commands to copy the files from uh, like one bucket to another bucket. Uh, you can like, I mean, give the path as one bucket and the destination as another bucket. You can also a play with those uh, directory structures and all those things. So yeah, I mean, I get, I hope you get the uh, overall idea of what I'm trying to say. You can basically uh, like try to find the service on which you are executing your commands. And then in that service, trying to find an appropriate command for your requirement and then see what are the arguments that you need to pass uh, to that command and uh, use that command accordingly. And you can perform those actions. Okay. So uh, this was a very quick tutorial on AWS where I wanted you to like introduce to the CLI and uh, like I wanted to walk you through how to install the CLI and configure the access in your machine. And I also wanted to like, I mean, uh, do some hands on CLI command commands practice uh, with you. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you found the video helpful, please uh, hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. And also please comment uh, on this video, like, I mean, what are the other topics that you would like to see uh, related to the AWS? Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.